day. We're inside of a huge mansion, and um, although there's nothing inside of this mansion, I'll tell you that right away, it's a pretty cool place. It was built in 1915, and it costs over $15 million. Currently, this place just sold, and they're knocking the entire building down. So, um, here we are. We're gonna take a look at it. I always love old mansions, old homes, and uh, this one's pretty cool. My favorite part so far, the main staircase. All old mansions, you could always count on the old staircase in the center of the home being awesome. And uh, this one certainly does not disappoint. Let me show you around this place, and hopefully if you enjoy, leave a thumbs up. Let me know. Let's go check it out. So the front entrance of this house, I love the checkered floors. You could also see some marble within all these checkered floors. That's really cool. I just noticed that now. You have the red carpet leading straight upstairs. You got the half spiral staircase. And this thing keeps going. We'll take a look up. There's three floors here. Also have all this wallpaper. Asian uh, style, I guess. It's like, feels like a library. I know there's no shelves, there's a little bit of shelves. So this kind of feels like a library. Also in old mansions, they would call rooms like this, like smoke rooms, cigar rooms. That's also what this could possibly be. This is a nice end room with a lot of natural light. And as you can see outside, the bulldozers are already outside. Just weeks away from demolishing this beauty. But thankfully, we get to document it and hopefully preserve it with video, of course. Got another fireplace. This place also has a little end room on this side as well. Not as good lighting, but I'm sure in the morning it's good. Look at that. I wonder how old that is. It looks like there was something here, some sort of appliance, and they took it out. So I really wonder, I wish there was a year attached to Abigail's name here. Ah, it looks like we're entering the kitchen. Got a lot of shelf space here. So this actually was a kitchen through this, through this window here. And this actually was like a heated tray. So it would keep the food hot. You have the switches right here. That's pretty cool. Don't know when that was added, but it seems like newer technology, of course. Perhaps outside where this natural light is, maybe this was the dining room. I'm assuming a family with money like this would probably have servants and workers and everybody making their stuff for them. This is pretty cool. Got the soap dish attached to the sink. I've honestly never seen that. Oh! Didn't expect that, but nice. Looks like in here all the family keys are left behind. Imagine having this many keys, like the entrance, 
the outside door to garage, I mean, padlocks, padlocks, a lot of padlocks. That's why they had a whole cabinet just for keys, bro. He's a car, <laughs> car keys right here. Oh no. GM, GMC. I don't know. I'm good with like three keys on my chain. So let's take a look at that kitchen, see what it's all about. Ooh, it's actually pretty nice in here. Got a nice island in the middle. More shelf space. There isn't much here, but what is here is some really old kitchen appliances. And these I find pretty interesting. Definitely really outdated. I'm sure a lot of my viewers have seen appliances like this. Obviously this is a microwave, but I mean as far as how old it is. Got two stove tops. This one looks a lot older and I love how it has an analog clock. It tells you the temperature in which you have to cook meat, certain different meats. This is a stove and ooh. I like how that opens. And it was like an oven. More of like a toaster oven setup, but that's really cool. I didn't expect it to open like that. It's a shame they're knocking this place down because it's very livable in here. I guess no one wanted to pay $15 million for an old mansion though. There's a nice little room out here. You could also see like the courtyard, which also kind of looks like there was probably a garden here. Pretty nice setup. You gotta love the old vibe, old school vibes, just like farming your own food, preparing it in the kitchen and having nothing but freshness for you and your family. Something just fell on my head. Paint chip just fell and landed on my head. I'll consider that good luck. Back in the main room. Take a look at this old thermostat and clock. Beautiful staircase. I love the woodwork here. I don't understand how they could demolish a place like this. Here's Chris. Good morning, Rooms. What's up, buddy? <laughs> These are probably bedrooms. Well, Here's actually the bathroom. Nothing in the medicine cabinet. It's a bedroom. Pretty bland. Not really much going on here, but cozy room. A 
Wow. Got a lot of purple and pink in here. You could see where beds were. So this is probably just by the size of the posts on the ground. Those are pretty small beds. This is probably a kid's room. Two small beds here, probably two girls. And for some reason, I'm getting the feeling they were probably twins. You could see where the headboards were actually, if you look closely. And you can see where paintings were above each bed. That's pretty wild. So even though there's nothing in this home, we have to use our imagination and uh, put these puzzles together. Huh, this is unique. I've never seen a toilet like this. Obviously, I'm guessing this probably is a urinal. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm honestly not sure. If I'm completely wrong, someone please let me know. This toilet looks old school though. Ugh. Along with a tub, we actually have a shower here hidden behind this door. Looking pretty musty, honestly, but nice that it has both. Whoa. I didn't notice that. First of all, there's a walk-in closet. That's pretty cool. But what the hell? If this was a little girl's room, which it assumes to be, why is there a lock on the outside? That's evil. What? That's so weird. Are you serious? I've heard like stories and seen like TV shows where like the parents like lock kids in rooms and basically don't let them see the outside world. I wonder if that's like the reality of it. I wonder if that was, you know, something like that going on. Nonetheless, we're continuing our tour. We've got a little linen closet. We got some train and car wallpaper, so I would assume this would be the boys' room. So it looks like this boys' room extends. Well, door's locked. Never mind. It's odd. Oh my god, that's so loud. Closet space, not too bad. I did see a room over here that looked interesting. Got two doors. Oh, nice. So we have a separate staircase. This probably was for servants. So if servants were living in the home, they had their own way down, private area. Let's see what they're working with over here. Yeah, basic rooms, small rooms. Probably a group kitchen. Everyone could get down and make everything they want. 
nothing left behind it seems. Hey, and the servant's quarters actually has the nicest bathtub here. Nice clawfoot tub. Gotta love these old school things. So, we really just have one more floor to go. I know this place isn't much, but I hope you guys do enjoy walking around old homes, at least just as much as I do. Even if they're empty, I still think old homes like this, they have character within their walls. So now we're on the top floor. Nice little room, what is this? Ooh, coffee, coffee, something. These are old. Bro. What? How hot is it up here? It's really, it's bad. Oh, this looks old. Take a look at this counter. Look at that All wood. There's a ladder. Yeah, and you do have a ladder. You want to go up there? Yeah, nothing too bad. No. Probably nothing in there. Nice little room. I bet I could just picture somebody just sitting by this window, leaning with it open, just looking at the outside world. That's what I mean by these walls have like stories attached to them. This looks like an Ikea dresser. Ah, it actually goes pretty far back. At least the people that lived here were kind of funny. No diving. Come on. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. We have another clawfoot tub. And that was pretty much the house. Let's take a look at the stairs. It's a cool view. Not sure what this room would be. It's right across from the main staircase. Maybe just like a makeup room, actually, because of this mirror. So it's also a bathroom, but it's probably used for a makeup room or a changing room. I do have a lot of um, closet space. All right, everybody. That's gonna do it for today's explore. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know it was a small little mansion. Not really small, but small explore as far as not much left behind. But this place is pretty cool. Definitely my favorite part, this main staircase. And uh, we're gonna take some pictures of it, embrace it a little more, and go about our day. So hopefully, like I said, you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>